Here's another tutorial where we're gonna talk about some abstract ideas by putting in motion these really cool spheres. So if you need a fresh idea for a project, you're gonna learn how to put together this spherical scene along with the main title design. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video because as always, it helps us out tremendously. And for those of you that are ready to create something cool, let's jump in and let's get started. Here we are inside of After Effects. As always, you can download our project files for free if you wish to break down or follow along. So we have a 1920 by 1080 blank composition that we'll be working in. However, the very first thing I'm gonna tell you to do is go ahead and create yourself a new composition and make it bigger than 1920 by 1080. So we'll do a width of 4,000 and a height of 2,000. 4,000 by 2,000, click OK. Then the first thing we're gonna do is come here, layer, new, solid. We'll call it background and we'll select our color here and we're gonna select a very dark gray color and click OK and click OK. Then we'll go ahead and create one more solid and we'll come here to effect, generate, and we'll grab grid. Let's change the corner point to width and height sliders and we'll come here and set the width to 50 and the height to 30. And we'll come here to border and set it to one. So now we'll have this very thin lines across our composition. That looks great. So then we'll go back to our tutorial composition, come here to the project panel and we'll bring in that composition that we just created. And here it is inside of our main comp. So I renamed it to sphere texture one and we'll come here to effect perspective and we're gonna grab CC sphere. Let's open up the light tab right away so we can see what we're doing. Let's come here to light height and set up to 100. And let's alt click stopwatch for light direction. And let's type in time asterisk 100. This will move the lighting of the entire object throughout our composition. Then let's open up shading. Come here to ambient and set it up to 60. So now that we have the basic settings out of the way, this is where we can be creative. So let's come here to radius. Let's make this much bigger. And with the offset, you can just move this anywhere inside your composition. So that looks fine. But let's come here to the rotation. And we come here and adjust the Z rotation. This will tilt it. And then we can adjust the Y rotation to almost 100 degrees. Kind of looks like the Death Star a little bit. And then with the X rotation, maybe we'll just alt click the stopwatch for X rotation. Type in time, asterisk 10. This will animate it. And then maybe we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. Add a keyframe for rotation Z. Come to the end of your timeline and just adjust the rotation manually. So now with our sphere adjusted, we should have an animation like this. And so far, so good. So all we need to do now is duplicate this baby. So go to edit, duplicate, come here to offset and just move this over to say the other side of your composition, maybe like so. And then we just need to go back into the rotation settings and just adjust the rotation a little bit here. So maybe I'll remove the keyframes for rotation Z and just adjust the rotation here. So it doesn't look exactly the same as the other one. And we'll come here to the radius and make this a little bit smaller as well. So now we have two duplicates in here and then all we're gonna do is create one more unique sphere. So to do this very quickly, we'll come here to our project panel, take the sphere texture one that we have the composition, duplicate it here, and then we can just double click it here and we can quickly change some of the settings. So maybe I'll come here to the background, uh, go to effect, generate a fill. And this time around, maybe I'll do like a lighter sort of gray color and click okay. And then we'll go ahead and select our grid layer. And this time we'll change the width and height. Maybe we'll bring down the width to maybe 25 and the height to 25 and do a border of 0.5. And this will just variate things a little bit. So then we go back into our main composition. Uh, we can duplicate one of the sphere textures, just duplicate it. Then select the duplicated sphere texture in your project panel, hold down alt on your keyboard, and just replace it like that. So that'll automatically replace everything. So we don't have to change much other than some of the basic sphere settings. So we can put this sphere here in the middle. We'll make the radius even smaller and just feel free to adjust the rotation settings just to variate the spheres a little bit. All right, so I happen to just make one mistake here. We need to see to go through each of the layers real quick and set the light height maybe down to 50 instead of 100. And this will add a nice set of shading to each uh, sphere. So make sure all three are set to light height about 50. All right, so then once all said and done, we take all three of our layers, go to layer pre-compose, we'll call it sphere background. And then we'll come here to layer new solid, we'll call it background, put underneath everything and come here to effect, generate, fill. And we can select any color we wish to use. So if you want to keep it dark, you can, but I'm going to go ahead and select maybe a nice greenish sort of color like this and click okay. So you may be asking yourself like, what can we use this for? Well, it can be used for a background or you can just use these shapes in an abstract or unique way. One thing we can do is obviously add some side graphics here, which makes a huge difference to your work. But I'm going to show you quickly how we can create a title like this here in the center um, and how easy it is to do that. But before we move on, if you're looking to save time while producing awesome work, we have over 15,000 templates for you to use in After Effects and Premiere Pro. With the Motion Duck extension, you can preview, apply, and modify any of the templates within a few clicks. Be sure to check our links in the description below to take a look at all the template packs that we have. And of course, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs as well. Those links are in the description below. So we're gonna grab ourselves a textile tool here at the top. And we're gonna use the font beep as new. I always say incorrectly and everyone always corrects me and I still say incorrectly. 
We're gonna use a font size of 170 and a leading of 300. So make sure that's typed out before you type this in here. And then we'll go ahead and every three letters, we're gonna hit enter on keyboard and continue to type out our word. So this is a very unique and abstract thing we can do. I mean, you can, you can also add like four letters per line, but this is what we wanna generally do. So what we'll do is grab our text layer, open it up, go to animate and add tracking to this. We'll open up the tracking, maybe set to 300. And you know, that looks nice and spread out evenly. And then we'll go to animate and this time around we'll add opacity. We'll set the opacity to 0%. We'll come here to range selector one. We'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. We'll add a keyframe for offset. Move forward in time maybe to almost two seconds and set the offset to 100%. Then let's come here to the advanced tab. Set the randomized order to on. And we'll come here to random seed. Alt click the stopwatch. And we'll type in time asterisk, you know, 100. So now we have this really cool flicker text and overall a really abstract and unique composition. Before you close off the video, you can download our free After Effects and Premiere Pro template packs. Those links are below. There's like a hundred templates between those two packs and always be creative.